This is a compatibility test between the built-in C64 mode of the Mega 65 and the dedicated Commodore 64 core that we are currently porting from the Mr. FPGA project to the Mega 65. As you can see here, I have mounted a disk with some one-file demos. I'm loading the ACID demo here. The C64 mode of the Mega 65 never claimed to be really Commodore 64 compatible, which is expected behavior. Also the Commodore 65, the original one, was not really compatible when it came to the edge cases that demo coders love to exploit. And therefore, as expected, the demo fails spectacularly. My Mega 65 is connected to my MacBook via the JTAG interface. Now let's load the latest bitstream of the Mr. Commodore 64 core. This is a very early alpha version. Here it is. Entering list shows nothing loaded yet. For debugging purposes, the QNICE core that controls the Commodore 64 core offers a console that you can access via the serial interface that is part of the JTAG connection. The FD command browses the SD card of the Mega 65. Here is the asset demo. I am now starting a debug program that can load PRG files from the SD card into the C64's RAM. Another list shows. The demo is here. Okay, I'm starting the loader again for another test. As you can see, loading a PRG file directly to the Commodore RAM via SD card is extremely fast. Okay, list. Here is something. Let's run it. Wow. 